OK. Let's analyze our new case. Uh, I will use the same picture I have just added here and here the new piece of glass that adds by shift to a part to two of the paths of the photons. It's orange and red path. I haven't changed my previous pictures. I will just use them to see what happens. By the way, in my previous video, I have here drawn a little bit incorrectly the arrows. They were facing to the right, but 3 pi over 2 is uh, arrows facing down as we spoke. But the main idea in the video was right because the arrows were facing in, their, in the same direction. If they're facing in the same direction, it doesn't matter uh, which direction they face. And the main thing is the relative direction and that determines this pattern or this pattern or any other pattern. Okay, so now let's turn to our analysis. So we have plus pi shift for two of the four possible paths. It's these two paths and they are orange and red. Let's see how it influences them. I will add here for red, I will add additional plus pi. So in total, it's not 2 pi now, it's 3 pi. And the picture for red is now 3 pi is 2 pi plus pi, which is rotation here. I have drawn it in pink just to make it look nice, make it so that you make you see how it looks like. Yes, now I'll draw it in red. You see that the blue path hasn't been affected by the piece of glass. Yes, the piece of glass only affects the red path, and the blue path isn't affected. So now we have 3 pi and pi constructive interference here so the waves are not anymore out of sync they are in sync in this way yes so we'll have constructing constructive interference in detector number one now let's see whether detector number two will give us destructive interference let's see where we should put modifications into our analysis Here's the orange path now. Orange path, I add plus pi here. 3 pi over 2 I exchange with 3 pi over 2 plus pi is 5 pi over 2. And 5 pi over 2 is like pi over 2 plus 2 pi. So basically it's the arrow facing up. You can check for yourself these like how it rotates, how things rotate, but essentially it's this thing. I will now put an orange arrow. Yes, now the arrow faces in this way. So what do we have now? We have our waves out of sync. Yes, and we'll have destructive interference in the detector number two. Now there are more sophisticated cases when we will have nor constructive nor destructive interference in those two detectors uh, and we will discuss them further on but for now it's an uh, important thing to see that we can by shifting uh, the phase difference on one of the paths we can control the constructive or destructive interference in all of the Max Zander interferometer and uh, it's I think it's useful to understand how how you can play around with this with this thing. Try to think uh, of other modifications you can add. Try to think about what sh what happens if you add a new Max Zander interferometer, for example, somewhere here that you are allowing things not to go into detectors but into a new Max Zander interferometer and add them together and see do the do the calculation and see how the interference happens how the photon goes through it 
and there is a lot of fun to to have with this picture just play around with it and see how it behaves in the next video we will continue with uh, putting classical mechanics adding classical mechanics to this quantum setup